be happy enough to introduce John McGinty after all the, all the, all the things that we went through to, to hire this position. And I'm, I'm very proud to announce him because he epitomizes everything that we like and want out of our coaching staff here at UNOH. Let's give him a warm welcome to Lima, Ohio, John McGinty. Uh, good morning. I appreciate you all coming out today. I'm humbled and honored to be the next head coach at the University of Northwestern Ohio. I want to thank, first and foremost, President Dr. Jarvis, uh, Athletic Director Adams, and the committee for giving me this opportunity. Ever since I started coaching, even before then, I've been, been preparing for this opportunity to stand before you today and couldn't be more excited and thrilled to be, uh, be standing here in front of you. I would be remiss if I didn't thank um, my former boss, head coach Lisa Carlson. Uh, these past six years working for her, I'm thankful for her for the opportunity she gave me to get into college athletics. Uh, the, the previous four years, she took a, a chance on a 24-year-old uh, Division One assistant, um, had the loyalty and confidence in me to bring her with um, to turn around a program. And for that, I'll be thankful for a long time. And then in those last four years, giving me the responsibility um, to prepare for the situation, uh, to prepare for this opportunity is something I'll be indebted to her for the rest of my life. Our staff at NIU, uh, Adam, Maria, Quinn, uh, Chrissy, I couldn't be uh, more thankful for their friendship. Uh, they're great young coaches, some of the best young coaches in the country, and some of them being my best friends, I've learned a ton from them. Uh, my family, uh, first, uh, my father taught me how to love the game of basketball, my first coach. Uh, my mother um, showed me how to build relationships and how to care for other people. My brother and sister showed me how to compete and being competitive in everything we do. My longtime girlfriend, Catherine, my biggest supporter, uh, my biggest fan, my best friend. I'm looking forward to uh, starting this journey and starting our lives in Lima with her. Uh, to my old team at Northern Illinois, um, I'm humbled enough to know that today I don't stand here without uh, great players and great people that have played with for me. Okay, um, not only at Northern Illinois, but also Lewis University. I'm humbled and honored that the young women um, took, took the opportunity that we gave them um, and turned it into a great, uh, great opportunity, and I appreciate that for them. To my new team, uh, can't wait to get to know you all. I appreciate you guys coming out. I know this isn't easy. Change is never easy. Um, but I look forward to building those relationships, gaining your trust, and that's not going to happen overnight. Um, but as we get to know, and if you give me an opportunity, I promise you, um, I won't let you down. A little bit about my coaching philosophy. First and foremost, we're going to be a team first program. Okay? We're going to be great teammates. Um, and that's going to be ingrained in us from day one and continue to be ingrained each and every workout. Um, but you're going to care more about the person next to you than you care about yourself. You're going to care more about the, jer the name on the front of the jersey than on the back. Next, our work ethic. Okay, we're going to outwork anybody and everybody in the conference, in the league, in the country. Um, our work ethic, both on the floor and off the court, is going to be um, is going to be the best. Whether we're in the community, uh, we're in the classroom, in the weight room, we're going to outwork people, um, and that's going to again be ingrained day in and day out. Communication, okay, the most important thing in building relationships, in my opinion, is communication. Um, so we're going to communicate, we're going to meet individually, we're going to meet as a group, um, we're really going to get to know each other, and again, it's not going to be easy, but to build that trust, we have to have constant communication. A little bit about my style of play. Uh, first and foremost, it's pretty simple. Of course, I have an ideal style of play, but I will say this, we will play to our personnel and the strengths of our personnel both on the offensive and defensive end. Ideally, offensively, we're playing in transition. We're getting up and down the floor. Uh, we're playing off reads off the defense. We're playing dribble drive, ball screen motion. Uh, we will run some sets on dead balls, but ideally, we're trying to get out in the open court and play. Uh, defensively, uh, we're going to be a man-to-man -man team, ideally. Okay? We're gonna, three things I think are very important in, in defense. One, communication two are closeouts, and three, rebounding the basketball. So that's going to be very important. 
Uh, we will mix in some zone, some half court zone. I believe in throwing the, the opponent off balance by switching in zone to man, makes and misses. Uh, we will run some trapping, uh, full court and half court defenses. But again, we're going to play to our personnel strengths and the game plan we, we put together as a staff that we believe will give us the best opportunity to win. Uh, in conclusion, I want to thank you all for coming out. I uh, appreciate the opportunity and look forward to getting started. Go Racers! Coach McGinney, new to UNOH, the new women's basketball coach, can we just talk about the hiring process and how you guys got him here? Once we decided to open up the position on a national level, we, we really were inundated with, with uh, resumes, actually over 160 to be exact, and we, we, we deciphered them and came up with eight candidates. And uh, what our thought was with the committee, which is made up of three head coaches here at UNOH and, and Sarah uh, Burden, who's our athletic academic advisor, and myself, we were looking out of, those, for, out of those eight, somebody that would jump out at us and say when they walked out of the room, uh, that's going to be our next head coach at UNOH. And uh, John McGinty was the person that did that. And so I knew once his, his interview was over, he had a lot of the characteristics we were looking for, and we're thrilled to death to get him to become our next coach. Chris, you say organization and detail is key to this program. Can you tell us more? Well, him also being young and having those characteristics is something we go for in all our coaches. I, I, I as an athlete, older athletic director my, and being a longtime Lima person, I, I like having young, motivated people come into our town and, wor and work really hard. And, and that's been sort of the formula we've used here at UNOH. And uh, I think he fits right into there. I thought he was a good fit for the university. I thought he had good background. He had spent a, a lot of his time as a coach, coaching women and doing very well at coaching women. And so uh, without a doubt, he was our leading candidate. Coach McGinney touches on his vision and what he sees. This young group of girls, how excited are you for him to impact them with what he wants? I'm very excited. I also have to be very patient, you know, as an administrator because, you know, Coach Arm Brewster recruited his girls for his system and now we're bringing in a new person. So there's going to be a transition period there. But we're very proud of what Emily Patton, our local girl here, has accomplished. Um, Maddie Schulte out of Delphus. They're our local people and, and we're very proud of what they're doing. And, and uh, I think Coach McGinty, his, his biggest uh, and first and foremost issue is going to be trying to get our current girls in our program to buy into the way he did things and the way they did things at Northern Illinois and how they were successful in the MAC in general. So well, it's going to be a process, but I'm excited to follow him through on that, and I wish him the best of luck. Just finishing up a press conference, why don't you go ahead and touch on your experience at UNOH so far? Sure, sure. Well, it hasn't been here very long. Um, just, you know, walked in. I'm getting a chance later this afternoon to meet the team, and that kind of happened a little bit backwards than maybe I'm used to, but I'm excited to get to know them. I've met a few of the players uh, just prior to the press conference, but getting ready to meet the whole squad and, and get here and, and get to work out. You know, Lima seems like a great community. Uh, reminds me a lot of home, um, hearing the passion that Sarah and Coach Kaufman talk about, you know, her growing up here. I'm excited to, you know, really being great and ingrained in the community. Coach, you have a lot of experience under your belt already between high school and AAU to Division One at Northern Illinois, all the way to UNOH here in Lima, Ohio. Talk about that coaching transition and how it makes you feel. I think first and foremost, basketball and coaching a team is is basketball and creating relationships with your players is, is is the same thing no matter what level you're at. You know they want uh, somebody who's going to care for them and teach them the game and teach them values and, and life lessons outside of the sport. Um, I, I think the opportunities that I've had at a young age have been very valuable and I, I'm super appreciative of those opportunities um, and I'm excited to get you know, started a new challenge. You know, the NAI uh, build a lot of my mentors, our coaches in uh, the CCAC, um, and I've gotten to know them very well, and they've helped me through different things. But I think the NAI model, um, the way they run the national tournament, the way the rules and, and regulations are set up is a lot of positive things for student athletes uh, to benefit from, and I'm excited to really get, get going. So the UNOH Racers last year only lost two seniors. You have a very young roster, something you could probably do a lot with. You talk about having a vision and what you want these girls to do. Why don't you explain to us about that vision that you see and what you're going to do with it? 
Yeah, I've watched some film. Um, I haven't watched a ton, but I've gotten through um, about a quarter of the season. I'm excited to continue to watch through the season. I think, to be honest with you, as I meet with the team today, we'll talk about it, but I think we're going to win with the, with the players in this room. Obviously, recruiting is huge. We will add pieces to that mix, um, and we're going to get out and recruit, and that's the lifeblood of the program. But the people in the room um, building those relationships with those current players, I think we have pieces um, in that room and on the current roster that we can that we can get things done right away and you know it's going to be a process obviously the goal is obviously to win a conference championship to get to the national tournament um, it, but it's going to be a process to get there and that starts with each and every day at work and um, that's what we're going to talk about is just trying to get better doing our best we can um, and really honing in on the details of you know making yourself better as an individual and then also are we getting better as a team each and every day. Lastly your first head coaching job ever you were under Coach Carlson for so long. She opened up connections for you all over the place. You're a part of UNOH now. Tell us what was so appealing to the Racer Nation, anything that's going on for you. What came out to you the Absolutely. most? Absolutely. You know, when the job came open, you know, I definitely used her as a resource. And, and Coach Adams, obviously, being a basketball guy, was something that was very appealing. And then when you get here in the committee, you hear about the passion. That's, that's awesome. Um, I'm excited about, you know, I think they have a commitment to athletics here. You know, the facilities, the resources they have with full-time assistant, a GA, strength and conditioning coaches, scholarships money you know those things are all huge and key in building a program and, and with that background and those resources I think it can be done here.